Welcome back to my final morning report chart analysis video of today, Monday 28th of January with me, Richard Pound Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. Let's have a look at gold, which broke out on Friday, a big, strong, bullish candle on Friday, really strong move to the upside. Pretty much out of nowhere, really, um, the market just start, suddenly started to take off, driven by dollar correction um, pretty much across markets. But certainly, technically speaking, uh, in isolation, this gold chart did, wasn't really sort of pointing towards that. It was actually struggling until Friday's candle. And then, obviously, we've seen the sharp break to the upside through 1298, which was that early January high. But now we are into the long term pivot band. 1300 to 1310. I've spoken about this many, many times over the last few months. And it is a key pivot area. Time and time again, we see the market turning around or struggling at that or consolidating in that area. So the fact is, if we can break out above 1310 on gold, you're looking at probably 13, a test of those uh, 2018 highs, 1366 area. Um, certainly, that uh, would be a bullish breakout. Um, now, you could argue that the, the mini range consolidation range breakout implies 22 bucks above 1298, so you're looking at 1320 as an implied target. And in fact, you look at the momentum indicators, they are configured still positively to suggest that uh, an, any unwinding move is a chance to buy into support. Um, you've got uh, sort of breakout support between, I suppose, 1292 to 1298. Uh, sort of from this old band that you've got here, sort of 1292, 1292, 1293 up towards 1298. So I think that um, there is a, a nice sort of band of underlying demand in that area that uh, if you saw the market back into it as this, this move unwinds these momentum indicators, that could be a buying opportunity, helping to renew upside potential, that would be ideal. But um, I mean, given the fact that, given the strength of the breakout, and it's not uh, a move that um, would be a surprise necessarily. Um, but uh, certainly, if the market can contain that uh, that breakout and um, hold on to it, and then sort of build again, then a retest of these thirteen resist thirteen ten resistance could well be on the cards. So, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.